Yeah, Susie O'Neill there talking to us pre-race as uh, Patria Thomas is introduced to the crowd. Her great rival, silver medal at the uh, Olympics and silver at Atlanta. Uh, not only at Atlanta, but Perth as well in the World Championships. This is the Canadian champion, Jessica Dayglow. Fastest qualifier this morning. A bronze medal earlier at the championships in the 200 free behind O'Neill and Pickering. And there's the reception for Susie O'Neill. In this race, listen to it. Enjoy it. She wins this. She breaks the record of Michael Wendon for the most number of medals won at Commonwealth Games. She will go past Haley Lewis, Haley Lewis uh, Decima Norman and Lisa Takahashi. Barry. She'll go past them as winning the most number of medals by an Australian. And she will equal the Canadian Graham Smith, who has won the most number of medals at a Games at this point in time. That stands at six. Wendon's record at nine. Susie is level with Wendon and one short of Smith as she lines up for this history-making event, I would expect. Georgia Lee in lane eight from England. Two English girls nearest to our cameras are Lee and Pedder. Susie O'Neill, five golds at these games. And she's the Olympic and world champion. But Jessica Dayglow adjusting her goggles Swam the fastest this morning, the Canadian. Two hundred fly. Madam Butterfly has made this her own in recent times. I'm wondering, will she keep it? I think she will, and I pray she does. She's come out of the water swimming very strongly, and I wouldn't be surprised if she's not worried about Dayglow at all. It's the girl from Mullumbimby that's got to worry. That is Thomas, who's taking it out very hard and fast. And look at them. Already they're putting their mark on the race. O'Neill is swimming lane five, nearest to our cameras. And that is Thomas up in lane three. And the two Aussies are going in to turn. And let's have a look at the time as they do that. It's 29.01 for O'Neill. And it was 29.09 for Petria Thomas. Well, she's under world record pace, but she's not under, world, uh, under Commonwealth record pace at this stage. World record, of course, held by Mary T. Maher and both the Australian girls that we've seen in international meets in the last couple of years, about the last four years. First and second, Patria Thomas at the top of the screen. And Susie O'Neill's really going out now. She's going out by about a full body length over the rest of the field. Oh, maybe not that far. That overhead shot is a little bit deceiving, but she certainly is going to turn first about a stroke in front. Thomas took out the gold medal in the 100. Susie had to be content with silver. As she goes back, she's completed 110 metres. She's in front, and the turn time was one minute 0.99 and she did extend her lead over thomas quite significantly thomas is second let's take a quick look at the others dayglow is third chevre from canada in lane two would be fourth at the moment and kate godfrey uh remiss of me not to mention kate she's swimming in lane one she's about fifth at the moment as o'neill goes in to complete 150 meters well this is setting up to be a classic 200 meters butterfly all the pressure from susie o'neill in that she had a good look and see where patria thomas was she saw that she was out in front she's, she's a mile in front of a duncan pace. it's all over by the shouting susie's out by a mile in front of patria and australia's susie o'neill rewriting the history books of commonwealth games the Olympic champion, the world champion, the Commonwealth champion. She equals what Graham Smith did, the great Canadian. Six goals at one games. Looking at the time, 26.6 is a Commonwealth record. 26.6, Commonwealth record to Madame Butterfly. Oh, and isn't she happy about that? She's the ice queen when it comes to emotion after a race, but it's all over. The Australians are on their feet right around the grandstand. I'm sure she's looking up at her fiancé, Cliffy, in the stands. And what a reaction. She's swimming down the pool. She's going to salute the Australian contingent. And then look at that million-dollar smile. Susie O'Neill. She's never done that during the Commonwealth Games that I can recall. She's swimming down the pool, acknowledging the plaudits of this crowd that, like everybody in the swimming world around the world, have taken her to their hearts. 
she look, wasn't that far from the world record, Duncan. No, she wasn't. She's made a real breakthrough of these Commonwealth Games. Not only all the medals, the gold medals that she's won, but she's taken her personal best time down by 0.6 of a second and well within striking range now of the 205.96. She's only seven tenths of a second now off Mary T. Maher's record. At the finish, she was out by herself. Patria Thomas is just in camera shot there. And so the last 100 was simply awesome from Susie O'Neill. Forget about tiredness, forget about the number of swims she's had. This is her bet distance. She's not going to get headed. She goes racing into the wall. Oh, this is just marvellous stuff. She hasn't lost this event since internationally 1994. That's right. But I don't think she's beaten Patria as easily or more commandingly. Well, we it was luxury. close for a while, but when they hit the wall with 50 to go, she extended, and this will be an interview with a lot of emotion. Nicole Stevenson with Susie O'Neill, her great friend. Susie, you've just said, I'm glad this is all over. It's just a fitting way to end this great Commonwealth Games for you. Yeah, I'm really happy with that time. Scott, my coach, really had to pull my head into gear before that. All the uh, records and everything going through my head, and then you just made me concentrate on my race. Well, how much pressure was on you? Because people were talking about the most gold medals at a Commonwealth Games, a single Commonwealth Games, the most in an Australian athlete's career. How much pressure was on you for this event? Well, I was enjoying swimming very much, put it that way. Uh, in my warm-up, one of the selectors came up and said, just ask me if I'd won a gold in Auckland or not, and I was just like, I don't want to hear this sort of stuff now. And Scott sat me down and spoke to me and just said, look, you know, you've just got to go out there and concentrate on your own race, pretend that you can't see anyone else, and this is a lot more important than getting the record. Commonwealth record, and also, more importantly, a personal best time, the first one in two years. It feels great to do a PB, doesn't it? Oh, especially when you get to 25. <laughs> it feels awesome just to get down on your best, and it gives you a, it makes you want to get back into training, which is a good thing at this age as well. <laughs> How hard have you worked for these games? Because you had the 400 freestyle, did you work extra hard this year? I've probably trained as hard as I um, ever have before. I did a lot more kilometres. You know, I was hoping it was going to be all worthwhile. I was relatively happy with my meet, you know, but just to do my best time in turn off, that's what I really wanted. And 206.60, Susie, very close now to the world record. I'll let you congratulate your coach, Scott Volkers. Well done to both of you. What about that world record? What about that world record of Mary T's? You're getting closer there now, aren't you? Probably not thinking about that either. <laughs> well, well, congratulations on your success at the Commonwealth Games. It has been a brilliant meet for you. Well done, Suze. Thanks, yeah. And thanks, obviously, to my coach, Scott. <laughs> well done, Scott. Congratulations. Thanks, Nicole. What a great... What can you say about her? <laughs> Can't say anything else. She did a great job. What, what were you thinking when you were out there watching her swim this race, knowing that she was under the world record pace the whole way through there? Uh, I didn't know, to be quite honest, whether she was under world record pace. The only thing I was hoping that she wasn't thinking about the record. That's the, the main thing that we we're worried about in the warm-up is to concentrate on swimming the race, see what the result came out and then worry about it later on. Well, congratulations on the job you've done with Susie. And Susie, congratulations on, again on a great Commonwealth Games. Thanks a lot. Nicole Stevenson there talking to both Susie O'Neill and Scott Volkers. And a magic moment at these games. You've just witnessed it. Susie O'Neill, her sixth gold medal. I won't go through the records again because they take too long. A Commonwealth record time, 2.6.6 and only fractionally away from the great Mary T. Mars world record um, from 1981. Thomas takes the silver again, and you've got a feel for her, and Jessica Dayglow came in third with the bronze and Kate Godfrey.